so for you, I guess, how does it feel being back in Portland? I know this was a, it's been only one season here, but how was, how was it, your time here in Portland? Um, time was cool. I got to be around some, um, some Hall of Fame guys. So, you know, I learned a lot and uh, it, was a pretty, it was a pretty cool time for me. You know what I'm saying? First time being on a training camp deal and uh, I had to make the most out of the situation. So it was dope. And then for you, I guess, after, you know, everything happened with the Knicks and you went to the G League, just was this kind of like another step for you, just kind of getting back to, you know, back to that road a little bit? Um, yeah, you know, it's a process, ups and downs, some uh, really good ups and some long, some long downs. You know, it is what it is. I deal with it all. Uh, I take it all in stride. You know, I never let anything like that make or break me. So, uh, like I said, it was cool, man. I enjoyed it. Um, I never thought less of myself throughout the time. Uh, it, it, was, it was an experience that I needed. What did you learn most from, from being here, being around Damon, Chauncey, and some of those guys? Um, it's a lot. It's, it's so much that I soaked up. Just from I knew Chauncey since I was in high school. And actually the same with Damon. I knew this since I was in high school, but to be with him every day, it's a lot of game that I soaked up. You know, just how to carry myself, how to win games, um, what teams really need, uh, how I can be super impactful to teams. So I soaked up a lot of game from them. And now obviously, go ahead, thanks. Right. And obviously for you guys as a, as a team, this last few games, what have you seen that's been maybe the biggest concern? Is it the offense? Is it just the defense? Well, what do you see maybe the biggest concern these last few games? Um, last game, we got a lot of good looks. We just wasn't making them. You know what I'm saying? We did a good job defensively. Uh, I want to say we held them under 100 during regulation, correct? Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah, we just got made shots then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got made shots. We got some good looks. And like I said, the people who we want shooting the ball is shooting the ball. So I feel like we're going to capitalize. It's going to turn the night. Them same shots, we're going to get them and they're going to fall. And, uh, you know, we can get some good, some good momentum starting here. Dennis, when you look at just the last couple of weeks, you guys have put in a lot of sky miles. Does it feel like you guys have lived and played in so many different time zones. Yes. I don't know who did this, but it's crazy because it's like, we just came back from Paris. Like, so everybody's like, how you feel about going to Paris? I'm like, man, we just got off of a road trip. You know, now we got to go to Paris, seven hour flight. Um, and then as soon as we get back from there, we got one game and we back on the road all the way out west. You know what I'm saying? So I like, honestly, on some for real, for real talk, that don't make sense to me, but it is what it is. We got to deal with it. We're here now. so. We're going to make the most out of it and try to get a win. When it comes to this Portland team, you just saw them a few days ago. What do you remember about that game and what has to be different here tonight? Uh, we got to do a better job of containing Ant. He did a really good job of um, doing everything. He had like 40 uh, double-digit assists as well. So, you know, if he's going to cook, we can't let him also find guys. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta limit something. And I think if we do that, we give ourselves a good chance tonight. Is that going to be your main point of emphasis and focus on when it comes to potentially a matchup between you two? Oh, yeah. I don't like Anthony Simons. I don't like him as a person. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, I'm joking. That's my dog. That's my like. That's really my dog. But, um, yeah, we got to stop, man. He's one, he one of the best young guards in the league, you know, and I'm, I'm a fan of his game. Like, he's one of my favorite players to watch, to be honest. So, you know, we got to limit him. We can't let him cook us tonight. Is there a lot of trash talking going on between you two since you guys are close friends and that could be something that a player that you want to contain? I mean, I'm going to talk to anybody. He don't talk a lot, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't talk a lot. He just come in, he, he about his business. He kind of, he, he's very similar to Dane. You know what I'm saying? In terms of, like, just even kill, not too high, not too low, not too much talking, but, you know, they just about their business. Dennis, I gotta ask you just about when it comes to the rotations and the, and the minutes. You mentioned the other day, the other day that it's something that whenever your number is called, you're going to just step up and perform and play. But when it comes to 40 games into a season, you're almost halfway there. And Jock mentioned how it's sometimes matchup based and performance based. How do you approach that individually and as a team when you're trying to find that consistency? Um. I can't speak. I can't speak for how the team may approach it. I know, um, as a me individually, I just gotta, you know, what I'm saying, just just get ready to go out there and max out. But it's 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 tough. Like you gotta look at it. Like the Paris game, I didn't play the whole third, and then I played the whole fourth, and 
you know, I ended up with however many, however many minutes. And then last game I played 22 minutes straight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't really know when I'm going to play or, or, you know what I'm saying, when I'm not going to play, I'm not sure. But I just got to be ready whenever my number get called, you know.